Yo, what is going on, you purple palpito? Today, we're playing some games with Control Calyrex, or Shadow Control, or whatever you want to call it. It's Calyrex VMAX, the Shadow Rider, uh, with the Underworld Door, the Max Geist, you guys know it. Um, some of you love it, some of you probably don't. Um, and we're playing the Control build of it, or, yeah, Control. It's not like a Control deck, but we try and have as many disruption elements as possible in this build. So there's four paths to the peak. Um, you might be like, well, that's a lot of Paths of the Peak when we have <laughs> Underworld Door, one of the best abilities in the game. Why are we trying to shut that down? So the way we try and play around our own Paths of the Peak as well as other people's Paths of the Peak and Chaotic Squall to get our own Paths of the Peak in play is Mars Shadow with the Resetting Hole. So there's three of these in here to help us bump our own Paths of the Peak and then use our abilities and then put our own Paths of the Peak back in play. Um, or bump, bump our opponent's path to the peak, use our abilities, then maybe put our path to the peak and back in play. Or if we want to get path to the peak in play and our opponent has a chaotic swell in play, we can use more shadow and then put path to the peak in play. And then our other, or maybe main attacker in the deck, especially in the early game, is that Trevenant and Dusknor GX with the Nightwatch and the Pale Moon GX. Nightwatch, of course, 150, and then choose two random cards from our opponent's hand uh, and put them, or shuffle them, have their opponent shuffle them into our deck, into their deck, not our deck. That would be weird. Um, <clears throat> and when you combo that with, you know, trying to use Marnie, so you put them to four card hand and then you get Pats of the Peak in play. So stuff like Quick Ball and Dedenne and Crowback can't, or even Eldegoss can't be outs for them to see more cards in their turn. That is the disruption uh, idea behind this build of Shadow Rider. So, Nightwatch comboed with Pats of the Peak, combo that with Marnie, um, and using our draw power of Underworld Door plus the Energy Excel of it to set up the Trevnor and then get the cards to combo with the Nightwatch is uh, the power behind this deck, why it is a good build of uh, of Shadow Rider. I don't think I really like it more than the other builds, but I haven't, this one is the build that I played with the least. And I want to, you know, once again, always, as always, bring it to you guys um so you guys can see what i've been playing around with so yeah this is a control shadow rider uh let's go ahead let's try it out and let's uh let's get into some games all right here we go getting into our first one our opponent's choosing to go first now this build uh, that i have currently doesn't play the gengar and mimic you um to help us like kind of get ahead potentially if we go first because usually if we go first we just want to go turn to trevnor that's usually our ideal goal and if we go second um <clears throat> Turn one house isn't that great to have to put the Gengar Mimikyu in play. Um, so yeah, there's no Gengar Mimikyu in this build. I guess I didn't mention that in the intro yet, but no Gengar Mimikyu, uh, just the Trevnors. Um, and our opening hand here is actually <clears throat> pretty good. Air Balloon, we can throw it on the Calyrex and then we can Quick Ball. Either for another Calyrex, or I could go ahead and get the Trevnor attached to the Trevnor. I really don't want to discard an energy. So this build doesn't play as many energy uh, because we have Pats of the Peak in play quite often. We don't actually use Underworld Door quite as much as other builds do and then we see a dark energy so we're up against moltres uh probably urshifu or it could be uh, probably moltres urshifu yeah it's been like a pretty popular deck moltres urshifu and Teleon that i've seen recently so probably gonna look for like a turn to uh gx attack here with trevnor so i might just go ahead see, i don't want to give up the i don't want to give up a marnie either really but i think i'd rather give up marnie than an energy i'm gonna grab the trevnor here uh, maybe I will go for the Calyrex. Kind of torn on that one. We'll probably be able to find one or the other on the other side of this. But I get to put the energy in play right now, which is why I want to lean towards the energy here. And then Marnie, draw some more cards. Hopefully draw into a Calyrex V or some way to find one. Or double Calyrex V, why not? Pretty good. Um, so we're set up really well here. And because they can attack us with Moltres next turn, it makes me want to actually retreat to a Calyrex V and save my air balloon. Um, so I think I am going to do that here. And go ahead and pass over to my opponent and we'll see what they got and then yeah our plan is probably going to be to try and get Paths of the peak in play and then use pale moon uh to shut down the ability of the dire flame wing dire flame swing and even if they get like a switch to move or an air balloon to move the maltrace it's more so just to kind of take the energy out of play that would be on the maltrace because that's kind of the scary part is the fact that the maltrace can attack not so much um that we need to get the knockout it's just like okay can we stop it from attacking and let's go that route our opponent has a really slow turn though so now we're gonna get really aggressive here dead a change try and get off this uh night watch and our opponent only has a three card hand so it's like perfect for uh perfect for a night watch got the path to the peak but we don't want to put that in play i would love to put one in play at the end of the turn but it's a little bit too soon right now um incense gonna go ahead and thin out a B max here because we really need to draw into more energy more so than anything and then underworld door over here or a research even out of research okay so we can go with another B max here I can quick ball away this V I'm not going to put that in play 
Uh, and now we're just an attachment away, but then we would lose. I could grab a Marshadow and put the Path of the Peak in play. So I can grab Marshadow, throw it down, put Path of the Peak in play, and play the research. And ideally, we just leave this. We hit a switch card plus an energy. We got the energy. No switch card though. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this fog crystal. Grab uh probably the next Trevnor. Um yeah, grab Trevnor. Quick ball away research because it's just a little bit too much in the current hand. Grab the resetting hole marsh shadow and then go ahead and resetting hole. And then we'll use this underworld door. Ideally, we want to get a switch card and just not do that until we have to. But I gotta do it. Gotta find the switch card here. And we've whiffed the switch card. So that's not great. <laughs> that's not good. Um man, I'm gonna go up ahead and uh, I might just leave the bench space open for now and just pass and just hold everything. I could attach here, I guess, or here would be fine, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pass. Over to my opponent. We whiff the switch, which is pretty big to not hit the switch there. Um attacking here would have been great, would have put us in a great spot. Now who knows what's gonna happen? Here comes that uh, dire flame wings and the attachment do they have a boss they do have a boss to go with it down goes my trevnor so we're in trouble now this is all of a sudden where uh it's getting a little bit scary for us and uh i mean it's just kind of it's, it's, it's kind of scary we had a slow turn two maybe it's a little bit too greedy with the air balloon but i expected to be my active to get knocked out or us to be able to find a switch card one of the two didn't happen there's the switch card as always just a card short draw some cards and see what we can get done here i would love to get a marnie or a stamp to go with this there's the stamp so we have the uh the pale moon we don't have a the path of the peak to go with it though so this has become quite a uh bad situation it's not we're not in a good spot here at all we do get off the pale moon remove all the energy from play it would have been great to have a path of the peak to go with this like i said path of the peak to combo with this would have been sick do not get it so uh we're really hoping our opponent just i mean they can't set up a Moltres in one turn so we know this Moltres won't get set up we're really hoping their hand is kind of just like completely dead though to be honest because if they even just like reset this Moltres, we're gonna be in trouble if they just get this to the bench and it doesn't get knocked out here we're gonna be in pretty big trouble i think so we really have to hope that this actually just gets ko'd here through the the pale moon last time i don't think it was as big of a deal uh, or theoretically before on the last turn it wouldn't have been that big of a deal if it didn't happen oh i guess they can always retreat this way but if we get to the path of the peak they won't be able to use their ability again and then we'll probably be in a fine spot so here's the retreat and then there's the pass okay so if we can find our final uh path to the peak here it's in the deck there it is so i'm gonna go ahead and evolve this horse i'm gonna go ahead and path to the peak and then uh night watch i could use boss here but i feel like i should wait i could boss hit the moltres but i feel like i can just wait here we know their hand is dead uh we got rid of the common ex feature they have a one card hand to work with here we have paths of the peak in play which means uh even if they get to dene or quick ball or crowbat uh they can't use them unless they also have an out to the stadium if they attach an energy here next turn i'll boss it and hit it maybe i should have boss and hit this last turn though to completely remove this move, remove the threat uh of it but here comes our energy attachment to the Sobble, just to get a couple more Sobbles. I think I just want to hit again. Um, Once again, I could boss hit the Moltres. It would remove that threat. But I don't mind just Night Watching. So if they attach here next turn, it would like kind of like... So if they attach here next turn, they could go like... And then I boss hit it. Then they could go like... I don't know, Research, Stadium Bump attach plus dire flame wings um and there is a drizzle top deck so my opponent is back in the game gonna probably go ahead and find themselves a draw supporter here a research um they're gonna draw seven cards uh, we do have another path to the peak in hand but we're all out of hand disruption we have no hand disruption to speak of uh, or to work with and i don't know how many energy we have left six seven eight we actually have a lot of energy left <clears throat> so we could ko this with a calyrex next turn instead we actually have a lot of energy left we only have three in the discard pile so six seven eight so we have four energy left and we only need what six to knock this thing out so we only need one more energy um so that's definitely doable here i think and now here comes this sable eye which we could actually take out instead um so we can use more shadow to bump our stadium use the uh underworld door and then uh put it path of the peak back in play on the next turn so i'm going to quick ball away this then out that to dene that i know is in there and there's five outs to energy here in a nine card deck so pretty good odds and yeah, I think we want to take out the Sableye um, with the Calyrex. They don't have any energy set up here. So that sounds pretty good to me. So we can go getting, uh, resetting hole, get rid of this. Uh, underworld door. There's 
the energy just burn this to like not have it in the deck anymore uh underworld door right here again we do more which they were doing yeah 190 so then boss sableye pat to the peak back and play bench marshadow in case they stamp us next turn hold the rest of the hand and then max guys take out the sable eye and that should be it i think we're going to be able to pull this one out in the end i was really worried that this was going to be we're bad <laughs> i think i think we're going to end up i thought we we're going to end up in a really bad spot really fast in this one but it's actually looking okay we take this knockout on the sable eye um now there's a small trace which we can ko next turn with a boss so all we have to do is go boss ko Moltres next turn and then the game is basically over um i mean we'll wait we'll see if our opponents got any tricks up their sleeves to stop us i mean reset stamp would be very good here and that's why i put the marshadow in play here because if they reset stamp us or they marnie us we just marshadow bump this we draw into any psychic energy or an out to the dedene can uh can do that just fine bump that dead a change bump that use underworld door try and find the the boss we have two boss left we don't have many very many cards left five here and then we have what three six only 13 cards total It'll be 11 cards in deck so yeah would pretty good odds to to find it actually because we have a decent amount of fog crystals i believe left and energy yeah three fog crystal and then three energy left um so we have a decent amount of outs there so yeah it's looking it's looking pretty good looking pretty good that we'll be able to draw the boss on this next turn my opponent's setting up some drizzle uh getting going this turn i think do they just like not play i feel like my opponent maybe just doesn't play a stadium here um to be able to get Moltres back online. I could be wrong, but it feels like they don't play a stadium. Here comes an EXP share, research. Um, oh, not comp for just, they went comp for this guy. Uh, they actually play where candy, which is interesting, but I guess it kind of makes sense. So you can candy out the Inteleon like a turn sooner to get the ping damage for the Sableye's Crazy Claws attack. Uh, it does definitely make sense. There comes another Drizzile shirt. I don't think I'm gonna get KO'd this turn. And once again, like I said, do they even play? Yeah, there's the reset stamp. That's what I was talking about there. Here comes the reset stamp. And the reason I held on my switch cards is I didn't want them to like boss and trap something. Got switch and boss. <laughs> so even if they have like great catcher here to bring up my Dedene, have the switch, can move it, then boss. Yeah, to play around like boss plus stamp. That's why I want to keep all my switch cards around because they could have bossed this plus stamped me. Uh, but yeah, boss, take out another Sableye and we get the dub here. I did not think with the way that one was going, a little bit of a rough early game and then it was looking bad early on once i got that first ko on my trevor with the three energy but we managed to pull it back and get the dub uh yeah all right here we go again uh, opponent once again going first and once again we don't play like i said we don't play the um gengar and mimic to try and take like give ourselves like kind of the first turn of doing stuff by using the gengar mimic to attack on the first turn so we're up against dragapult Inteleon. I think if you are going to play Dragapult, this is probably the way to go. Is that Dragapult Inteleon deck? Not playing the Rapid Strike Sobbles. I want the 70 HP ones. Um, and our opening is okay. Quick Ball is a very nice top deck there. Um, and actually sets up very well to hand. I'm going to give it to the boss. Once again, I'm, I'm really favoring trying to keep the energy around as much as possible. I'm actually going to switch into the Shadow Rider because I do want to kind of go in with the Trevnor on the following turn. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go into these this setup here so that we have this on the bench to be able to calyrex to it following turn i'll even attach the air balloon active here um to have this thing already be mobile just in case our opponent marnie's us on the following turn um they do get a pretty good hit here though they're gonna if they get off the v max plus the attachment they have a pretty good hit set up already on this first turn we could go with the pale moon gx to be honest on our following turn um but i'm kind of favoring the idea of going with oh but really slow turn for my opponent so we're hoping to top back research here um no such luck but we could just go attach pass here and then see like give my opponent like a turn to top deck here um and if they don't then we can just go with the pale moon gx on the following turn and then just kind of go from there so we give like our opponent a turn here um and if they do get the evolution or whatever they don't even knock out this uh cali rex even if they get the uh the v max here they don't even knock it out so they'd be able to like hit it and then we go all right well they drew stuff so we'll marnie right but we'll give them a turn here we'll be like all right let's see if you top deck they don't all right yeah so i could have just marnie there and been like i just want to be a little bit more aggressive but with this in play and all that stuff um it's not looking great so we're gonna go with that well now i kind of want to go with the night watch and take away their all their whole hand and then we just two hit ko this is what i'm leaning towards a little bit more now we're not gonna take too much damage between the the jet assault plus the horror energy so i think i'm gonna go with the night watch here i was gonna initially go with that pale moon 
but completely wiping out their hand it sounds a little bit better take away all their options because like if they had a pokemon like they did in hand and then if they top deck a calm that calm becomes a drizzle and then the drizzle becomes a research and then they're back in the game from there um so doing it like this means they just they don't have anything to work with so now they can't top deck quick ball for a card or like i said the calm play all that becomes not doable uh, i'm gonna hold this energy and just night watch again take this knockout we do have 100 damage on our trevnor now but it's not a big deal um because our opponent has only a u-turn board in the hand to work with so there's a research off the prize cards as well so that's perfect the research is great here uh this makes me wish i had attached my energy for turn and maybe because i was drawing prize cards there i should have attached the energy um uh, actually if i like had checked my prize cards and knew there was a research there i'd be like okay maybe i should attach here okay they find the, the evolution incense off the top here so here comes a drizzle and i'm assuming a research is going to make its way into my opponent's hand from here um and then we'll see what they're able to put together off that but they're definitely behind right here i'm definitely feeling like we're in a good spot uh even though my opponent is now drawn out of their dead, dead draw or whatever you want to call it. we do have a marnie in hand as well so we can reset our opponent's hand hit him with the night watch again and kind of go from there and we still have that uh, pale moon gx to work with because i didn't use it earlier so we still have that to be able to use uh later on coming up even as soon as maybe not this next turn but the turn after if they actually attack us with the dragon ball Vmax, and i feel like i've got their hand in a sufficient lock spot or whatever you want to call it maybe i'll go with that pale moon gx but we'll see what they do here actually they have three cards in hand right now so i'm probably just gonna go with okay here comes a drizzle i was gonna say i'm probably just gonna go with a night watch right now they only have two cards in hand now they get one more off the shady dealings but then that's it they have three cards in hand unless they get something research for next turn so we know they have a research but it's two of three versus marnie into four random cards and then taking two of four so i think it's probably better to marnie here because they could have like no research in the in the next hand i could still take it away so i think it is probably better to marnie here i'm gonna go ahead and attach as well to start to i don't really want to put energy on this thing though i'll put the marshadow down and then i'll go ahead and play the marnie yeah i think this is probably better knowing they have a research in the hand but i'm so likely to get rid of it i'm actually not 100 percent sure um So I'm gonna try and set up a little bit here I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna go ahead and bump the stadium we have the path of the peak to put back in play to uh even though it's impossible my opponent doesn't play Crobat or Dedenne to be honest or that I'm thinking about it um with the way their build is I feel like it's possible they don't it is also possible they do so get rid of this I'm gonna go ahead and grab another Alley Rex V throw that down throw down that path to the peak um and it's also possible in my opponent's hand in their last hand they had they could have had like an Inteleon, a, an evolution incense and then that research so marnie and evolution incense pretty good sign but they could still have definitely have something in those last couple cards and we're down to three prize cards though which is really really good because now we only need to knock out one v max to close out this game and the comp top deck is actually pretty good if we top deck a pokemon here because then we can evolution incense we get the calibrex v max we have double v max set up and then we could actually calm for a marsh shadow uh, and then with the marsh shadow we can put that in play and then potentially bump the path to use a bunch of underworld doors um and get some more cards going um and then uh set up to get like the 2 ko on the striker ball v max because this this trevnor won't do it by itself we could use the pale moon like i said but if I could just hit it with Night Watch and then plant a two hit KO this Dragon Ball on the following turn, it'd be that much better. And it looks like that was a really good Night Watch. We got rid of the Evolution Incense, which could get Inteleon, and the Marnie, which is the draw supporter. And now my opponent has a zero card hand as they quick ball for Sobble and then send the Sobble into the active and pass. So it looks like it worked out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We have two paths left, actually. The first pass was my opponent's, that's right. Um, research. And we do really wanna try and set up a big calyrex at this point that is definitely part of our game plan i don't want to do it yet but they have a zero card hand actually so i think i could do it now actually probably shouldn't have attached that energy yet um because they can't top they could top deck like a denier or a crobat though maybe i i'm kind of conflicted here i do but i don't um i'll put the marshadow in play at the very least just in case they top deck a marnie and we'll go with night watch yeah because they could top to crobat or to Dene, and they can't win next turn so I think I have the luxury of chilling for one more turn, maybe, and then uh, trying to pop off on the following turn. Well, if I had bumped it this turn, I had the potential to go, you know, use a bunch of Underworld Doors this turn and the next turn. But there's the concede. So the lock works out once again, and we get another dub with Shadow Control. Here we go once again. Once again, losing the coin flip, but really not that big of a deal. We're going to open the Mars Shadow here. We don't really want to open Trevnor. It is like our opening attacker, if you want to call it that, but we don't want to open the Trevnor. Oof all right gonna be a tough one 
probably up against Eternatus here. So it's not a, oh no, even worse, Dark Box. So it's not an unwinnable matchup, especially with those paths to the peak. Very strong against, no, it is Eternatus. I saw the Weavile, but it's probably, yeah, Eternatus with Weavile. Not an unwinnable matchup, but very difficult. And we're gonna do our best here. Uh, we wanna be aggressive with paths to the peak. Uh, we want to be aggressive in general so we're looking for like a turn to pale moon gx plus pats of the peak in play and hoping that kind of can carry us that's kind of our goal in this matchup early pats of the peak pale moon is basically our only way to deal with an eternatus initially and then from there we have to kind of be very scrappy with how we play the game so it's it's a tough one it's a tough one i'm not gonna lie to you guys definitely a tough one but definitely winnable but definitely winnable so we're gonna do our best here don't want those gonna go ahead and throw this here play this and then we're gonna research here they only have a four card hand um and i think we know no we don't i think we know they have crobat don't want that yet it's gonna grab the cali rex throw that down and play the research could bump the stadium but we don't really want to yet so i'm gonna throw this down fall crystal for another cali rex v and I think probably just go ahead and pass over to my opponent here. Uh, and then we'll try and make the play happen next turn. It's going to be tough, but it is doable. So we're going <laughs> to try and make it happen. Yeah, pass over to my opponent. So like I said, next turn, we're looking for that Pale Moon GX. Plus getting the stadium in play. I mean, if we could combo with a Marnie, that would be great. But we only have the research in hand. And if we use the Marnie, we draw that many less cards. Which means we maybe don't even get the attack off. So we will see. But this is our this is what we got right now. This is what we're going to be working with. And we're going to hope this is enough to uh, beat my opponent here. We're going to hope this is enough here. We'll see. We'll see. Um, see how it goes. Uh, they built up some spite. Uh, the Spear Tomb's getting stuff. They actually might swing with Spear Tomb here, which opens up a nice Night Watch opportunity, to be honest, actually. Uh, but there's a boss. So they're actually going to hit my Trevnor, which is actually still pretty annoying because Trevnor being in the active is just not that great. <laughs> it's kind of stuck there. Um, but it doesn't mean they have a two-card hand. So a Night Watch here could give us that dub. We're going to go with Calm Away this. March at him. Grab ourselves the VMAX. Uh, Fawn Crystal for an Energy. Bench Trevnor. Evolve. Uh, energy 2. We just want to draw the cards here. Sometimes it can be a little bit awkward to Underworld Door when you know you're going to research. But um, ooh, we got the switch, but we can't utilize it. Um, I can attach and then research. Can't utilize the switch because we don't. I mean, nothing, we could have switched into one of the Calyrex V's, to be honest, actually. That would have been fine, actually. I probably should have done that, actually, switch into a Calyrex V. So I could have utilized the switch. I just chose not to for whatever reason. All right. Another V Max. So we got we got it, though. We got our uh, our setup here that we need to give ourselves a chance to win this one. Unfortunately, I have to use the air balloon on the active. Um, and then retreat. I should have switched into a Calyrex V there 100%. Um, yeah, don't. Don't do as I do, do as I say, as I always say. Nightwatch, zero card hand, path to the peak in play. So they can't even top that Crobat. Uh, they can't top that Quick Ball. I mean, they could top that Quick Ball. They can't use it. Calm doesn't work. Great Ball doesn't work. They have to top deck a draw supporter. It has to be Research. has to be Marnie. That's it. If it's not either of those, they don't get to play the game next turn at all. Uh, there's the V Max, and we could actually bring this up this turn and start hitting it. And I think I like the idea of that. Um, we could even Pale Moon it. Which I almost like the idea of a little bit more. Um, so that way they can't just top deck an energy and then uh, punch us. So I'm just going to Pale Moon it. Hopefully it gets knocked out. And then we're just two prize cards away from winning this game. Uh, we don't leave ourselves in a ridiculously... It's a pretty good spot, though. We're in a pretty good spot. Three prize cards here. Once again, zero card hand from my opponent. It allows me to make like different plays where it's like... I don't... Night Watch isn't necessary, but uh, we we'll probably do it more often than not. Anyways, uh, go ahead and take this. Or use this, not grab that. Grab energy. I'm just going to start building up a Calyrex here because I think I just want the option of that. And then we're just going to go ahead and boss Crobat and then use Night Watch here. Just punch it. And then we have a boss in hand. So we just simply boss next turn to win the game. Now, my opponent could Marnie this turn. They could top deck Marnie and play Marnie. But if they don't, we got the boss. And even if they do, they don't knock me out this turn. I get another Night Watch. They still have to retreat this thing, which they do have. But we got our third boss. The hand looked a little bit awkward when we initially drew it with the three boss. But now it's like great boss 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 night watch again knock out the crowbat and that's it we defeat the eternatus one of the harder matchups for this build but uh slow start for my opponent and then immediately when they have a slow start small hand size we completely lock them out of the game like completely take away like so many top deck outs by giving them a zero card hand with path of the peak in play so usually 
uh, if we're playing a Calyrex deck and we like get into, they have a similarly slow draw. They still have time to get back into the game, but when we're playing this build of Calyrex and we get to use that Night Watch and throw that pet to the peak and play, their top deck outs are so low, uh, so small. There's so few cards that they can top deck that get them back into the game that we could just take over the game just like that and uh, get another dub. And that's going to do it for Shadow Control. Uh, see you guys tomorrow.